The Senate will vote Thursday on two separate bills that would immediately end the government shutdown, one of which would fully fund President Donald Trump's border wall and another that will fund the closed agencies through February 8. The deal was announced on the Senate floor Tuesday afternoon in a joint appearance by GOP leader Mitch McConnell and Democratic leader Chuck Schumer. The upper chamber will vote at 2.30 p.m. Thursday on a set of competing bills, one of which will be on Trump's proposal that includes temporary protection to DACA recipients and gives him the $5.7 billion he needs to build his border wall. The second vote would be on the House Democrats' plan to temporarily reopen the government until February 8 to allow time to negotiate a resolution on border security funding. It does not include the funding for the president's wall. Each leader praised their respective party's plan. To reject this proposal, Democrats would have to prioritize political combat with the president ahead of federal workers, ahead of DACA recipients, ahead of border security, and ahead of stable and predictable government funding. Is that really a price that Democrats want to pay to prolong this episode, which they say they want to be over and done with? McConnell said of the president's plan. It will allow us to then debate without hostage-taking, without temper tantrum, without anything, how we can best debate border security, get that done, hopefully, by February 8 and keep the government open. So if you're looking for a way to open up the government, this is the way, Schumer said of the second vote on the Democratic proposal. Both measures will need 60 votes to advance in the legislative process. The deal comes on day 32 of the longest government shutdown in American history. And there's no guarantee either vote will get the supermajority of votes it needs to pass. If Democrats don't support the first vote and Republicans don't support the second vote, then each measure fails and the shutdown continues. The vote would come before Friday's payday for the federal government, which would mark the second pay cycle in which workers would receive blank checks. The measures would offer back pay to 800,000 federal workers going without paychecks since the government closed on December 22. Trump outlined a plan to end the government shutdown on Saturday, offering congressional Democrats three years of legislative relief for 700,000 DACA recipients, including protection from deportation and an extension of legal residence for people living in the country under temporary protective statuses designations. DACA refers to the Obama-era Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program, which offered a no-deportation guarantee to hundreds of thousands of illegal immigrants whose parents brought them into the U.S. as minors. TPS is a Justice Department program that grants residency and work permits to people from 10 countries affected by natural disasters or brutal armed conflicts. They include El Salvador, Haiti, Honduras, Nepal, Nicaragua, Somalia, Syria, Sudan, South Sudan and Yemen. Democratic congressional leaders rejected his offer 